hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys you can see the error on the screen startup repair could not repair your pc my system is not going to boot if you are getting different error like automatic repair could not repair your pc your pc did not start correctly or your pc ran into a problem needs to restart so this video is for you guys i will show you how to troubleshoot this issue step by step without losing any data and so let's start without wasting our time so first of all guys you need to make sure that you are able to access this startup repair screen if you are not able to access this startup repair screen you need to shut down your system two through three times forcefully so in my case guys uh, i'm able to access my system but it is not booting so in your case so if you are on the same screen so you can skip this video but if you are not able to access your pc so let me show how to get this startup repair screen so first of all you need to force shut down your system here so this is a power key guys so just hold it for almost 10 seconds so that your system gets shut down properly now release it and as soon as the manufacturer logo appears just shut it down let me show how to do that now once the window loads now it's going to load now press the power key for almost 10 to 15 seconds so that it shut down correctly now the same screen uh, let me show you here again let me turn it on back now manufacturer logo appears the window loads just hold the power key so this is a process you can repeat it now again turn it on again now this time you can see the different screen let me skip this and i should get the diagnosing your pc here now you can see now you can release the power key now so by this way you are able to access the advanced screen option so just you need to wait here it will diagnose your pc and sometime diagnosing can fix your issue automatically if not this will load into the automatic screen now you can see I'm getting here the different error here your PC did not start correctly so just you need to click on the advanced screen option so first of all I should tell you guys why you are facing this issue so there are mainly four to five regions behind this error the first one is sudden shutdown of the system the second one is if you have changed the hardware any like you have add RAM or the hard drive the third one is windows corruption as well as the registry corruptions the fourth one is incompatible software you have installed or the incompatible updates you have installed as well as the damaged image file inside your systems so these are the main cause of this issue so let's try to fix this issue now so once you are on this screen uh, you need to click on troubleshoot you need to click on advanced options now we need to open the command prompt and if after the shutdown of two to three times if this screen is not coming up you can boot your system from the usb click on install and then click on repair your pc options so from here you can try the startup repair your pc but it will fix your issue 10 to 15 percent only so you can also try here the system restore if you have made any system restore point on your windows it should fix your issue here click on next option here and click on finish and click on yes so it will restore your system to the back date when your system was working fine and it should fix your issue but we are going to fix this issue with the command prompt first open the command prompt simply and you may have to enter the admin user here 
so in the first method guys we are going to repair the registry editor files so this is the most popular way to fix the issue like system is not booting up so first of all you need to make sure that where your window has been installed so let's try that so before that we need to hit some commands here so the first command is disk part to check how many disks we have inside our system so disk part like this and hit enter now once you hit enter you need to type a list volume list vol in the shortcut make sure you give the space here now you can identify with their space you can see the C drive is 122 GB and the D drive is 92 GB so in my case my window has been installed in the C drive but I know that but it's always to better to reconfirm that so let me exit out from the this and tap a C colon and then type a dir to confirm the directory inside the c drive now you can see i have many folders here but you need to check only some folders here like program files programs users and windows so i'm pretty sure that a window has been installed in the c drive if i try for d colon and then dir i will get the different directory so you can see here the guys the difference i don't have any programs and all the data inside it so these are all the virtual machines inside my d drive so i'm confirmed that my window has been installed in the c drive so i need to press c colon okay c and then colon okay so we need to hit some commands here so let me clear the screen here so we are in the c directory you can see guys so we need to type here the command cd windows forward slash system 32 so this is a command to enter into the config folder so we need to go to the now registry folder so when I press a DIR in order to check inside the directory of the config folder you can see here we need these files SAM security software and this should be in the registry backup folders so now the next command we need to tap here MD backup MD space backup and hit enter so now we have made the backup of the registry file so we need to copy that so in order to copy that we need to type for the command so the next command we need to type for copy in order to copy the backup folder we have just created give a space shift plus 8 asterisk dot shift plus 8 again and give a space then type for backup and hit enter so now you can see 11 file have been copied from there the most important files which is which will help the system to boot so now it's time to go to the regback folder we need to type a reg cd regback like this hit enter now if i see here dir inside the so here is the most important part in your system if you see 00, 0 number here like default is 0 sam is 0 security is 0 so you can exit out from here you are not able to complete this step you just need to type for exit and you can exit out but if you see here the valid numbers like me so we need to copy all these files to config folder here so now we need to type for the command guys to copy all folders from here to config folder we need to type for the command copy space asterisk shift plus 8 button you need to press dot then shift plus 8 means asterisk then give a space and 
dot dot so here is the command this is the most important command in this step hit enter now you need to type here a capital a to all the files should be copied now you will see here five files have been copied sam security software system so we have successfully repaired the registry here so we need to type for exit now and we need to continue with windows 10 or 11 and let's see if the issue fix or not in the first time it will take some time since uh, we have repaired the registry files here but later on it will go normally so now you can see window has been booted and issue has been resolved now if your issue is still not resolved access the same screen again so now you should bring back this screen here click on troubleshoot click on advanced options again click on command prompt so once we are on the command prompt we need to again navigate to the same folder where the window has been installed so in my case it is in the c now we need to type here the command chk dsk space chk dsk space forward slash f space forward slash r so f and r will repair the bed sector as well as the corruption inside your hard drive the letter c colon and hit enter now you need to press here y and hit enter now it will take some time guys you just need to patience here it will go to the five stages so let me pause the video here this is very powerful command to repair the hard drive issues so once this command is done guys you just need to cross this out from here this command is not completed yet it is going to take almost 40 to 50 minutes here so we need to cross this out from here so in my case my window has successfully repaired already but you need to wait here until it gets completed and then cross this out from here and turn off your pc and then turn it on again if still not solve your problem go to troubleshoot advanced options and click on system restore if your system created the system restore automatically of or you have created that you can choose the automatic restore point here and click on next and click on finish and then click on yes option your system will be in the back stage when your system was working fine you can see here the date all the data is safe in this process and your issue should fix so these are the three methods to fix this issue guys if nothing is not working you can try to reset your pc while keeping your personal files but all the software you have installed manually it will be deleted but only keeps your personal files in it so you need to choose that option and if you are getting any kind of error while you're choosing the local reinstall first try local reinstall and then if the you are getting any kind of error you can look for cloud download but this will take up to 4 gb of your data so you can choose that and you are going your pc is going to reset so this is how guys i have shown you four method to fix this issue so hope one of them is working for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share Thank you. Thanks for watching how to fix stack. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe.